Hi everyone! At the beginning of this year, we've got some new features in Gravity Sketch, and we'd like to show you all how to start using them. First, we're going to start with the new lobby. When you open up Gravity Sketch, you'll notice a much cleaner layout and a much more direct way to access different spaces in the lobby. You've got settings, new sketch, a file manager, and your recent sketches. If we open up our settings off to the left, we'll see our selection of different languages, as well as our haptics, our left and right controller preferences, and if you're in co-creation, your selection of organizations that you're in. Next, we're going to open up the file manager, which is how you're going to access and transfer your files in landing pad and in your local device. Off to the left, you can see we have our landing pad files saved in the cloud, as well as our local files off to the right. There's multiple ways you can cycle through the files, either using your joystick or the slider down at the bottom. In the center column, you will find a list of file types in order to filter out different kinds of files in your system. You can turn on or off any combination of these to find what you're looking for. If you look down, you will find a purple button, and that is your clipboard. Using the clipboard, you can grab files from landing pad or from your local system and move them to other locations, either to other folders or to landing pad itself. Minimap is a simple tool that allows you to navigate to specific spots in your scene. Simply hold down the blue button and your entire sketch will zoom out with a blue box surrounding it. With your controller, tap to a specific location and it will zoom you right to that spot in your sketch. The export menu has also been improved in Gravity Sketch, allowing you to do things like recentering your sketch in the world axis, as well as selecting different measurement types, single or double-sided for surfaces, FBX and IGIS export, as well as a wand tool to manually position your sketch in the world space. To group edit multiple objects at the same time, simply select all the objects and hold down the blue edit mode button. You'll see the points appear and you'll be able to edit them all at the same time. To mirror all the objects, simply switch on the mirrored switch and continue editing. When you're finished, simply click the Bake Mirror button and it will bake all your objects in one click. To group geometry in Gravity Sketch, expand your grab sphere to encapsulate all of the geometry you want to group, squeeze the grab button in your drawing hand, and press the purple button in your non-drawing hand. We can do that again with this group. And now, if we want to group these two groups, we can do the same, and you'll notice that they stick together. However, we can also ungroup and go back to our original groups. You group and ungroup with the purple button. Notice there's hexagons in it when you have the opportunity to group, and when you have the opportunity to break, there's a break icon. We can do this again with the blue. Now we can see we have six individual pieces of geometry. The normals viewer gives the user a better understanding of the normals within their geometry. Grab and press the edit button. And from here, we can swipe to the right or the left on our joystick and our drawing hand. We can see a blue line with arrows on it that shows us one of the four normals on this square stroke. To go into edit, we can grab one of these arrows and move with the grab button to twist. You'll see how you're manipulating relative to the blue line. In order to check out snap rotate, Squeeze the grab button in your drawing hand. Swipe to the left or to the right, and this will bring up your tool belt. Grab the precision movement tool, and now press the bottom of the two buttons next to your thumbstick. This will turn the snap button to light gray with a grid in the middle. Once you've intersected the geometry, the axes will appear upon which you can rotate this piece of geometry. Squeeze the trigger in your drawing hand, and from here, every 15 degrees, the item will be rotated. In order to scale an object and keep its orientation, first scale an object and lose its orientation, the first thing we need to do is turn on Smart Move by going to Settings and Sketching Aid. I'll turn on XYZ, but all direction would also work. In XYZ, now I'll click off and stack my hands in the direction of the green axis. I'll squeeze the grab button in my drawing hand and then my non-drawing hand and move them together and apart. And from here, 
you can see that I still have the relationship with the green axis. However, I've made my object quite a bit bigger versus me trying to do this and then reposition it later. You can reach the Sub-D Quick Access menu by grabbing a piece of geometry that's Sub-D and pressing the blue edit button. You'll see you have your typical menu. However, you can press the black button in your drawing hand. You can toggle by moving your hand right and left. And once you have the tool that you want, you can let go. The tool now becomes part of the trigger in your drawing hand. You can use it by squeezing the trigger in your drawing hand and then continuing to edit as normal. To create viewpoints in Gravity Sketch, press the purple button in your non-drawing hand and go to the bottom and click Viewpoints. Between your hands, you'll see the scale that you're in. Green is greater than one, one to one is gray, and less than one is red. Once I'm in one to one scale for this scenario, I'll let go of my grab buttons. I'll squeeze the trigger in my drawing hand. Once I have an approximate location, I can create a different one by doing the same thing. Now, if I want to edit one of these, I can grab and press the blue edit button. I can edit where the shoe is, or I can grab and edit where the camera is. I can also check out Field of View, which is illustrated by the black lines on the outside corners of the camera. Once I have it set, I can also take a screenshot. To confirm, press the blue check. You can toggle between by using the joystick in your non-drawing hand. You can also press the purple button and use these to decide which camera you'd like to be in. Finally, we can check out how to teleport by pressing the black button in our drawing hand. From here, we'll see something pop up and we can see the two cameras that we already have. The thing that pops up is a pair of feet and a VR headset. We can squeeze the trigger to transport ourselves and turn around to see where our model was. This is a fantastic way for creating new viewpoints far away or close up. To get out of this mode, press the black button again.